I'm Ryan DeResk Pond. Now I can feel the energy just as I'm standing here. It almost is like surging up through my bones, kind of like, kind of like stroke, but not so much negativity involved with it. Anvil, the steel, the rock hard fist, the diamond fist. What? Back up. Oh. And I'm pulling it back up. I just get sometimes I just get too into this interview, explaining this man and like the seriousness and the gravity of his impact on this town. There's, no, I don't, stop selling me bumper stickers, I'm good, okay? I don't need bumper stickers, do an interview. I'm telling you, crackheads walking the streets just left and right trying to sell me stuff. Look at this, probably, probably a fucking drug dealer right now trying to sell me something. <laughs> we're good. We don't, we don't do that stuff around here, we're in the fitness. No, we don't let that kind of stuff walk around and take up our turf. You know, people sell drugs and stuff like that. The shirt business on the corners, huge. This guy would have already been knocked out, put in his trunk, and drove down the road. Because that would have been a fresh print of plate of meat over there. The weak are meat and the strong do eat. That's the streets. The streets talk in Stroudsburg. He knew. Yeah, there you go, Buster. Another hater going down the road. That's all I got for right now. I tell you, you got my man here, Rico. Rico. We're going to go with Rico. He's trying to offer you drugs. You say no. He, now he's trying to push it on you. Telling you he's going to sell it to your kids then. Nine. Right, see these? Meth. See these black dots right here? Straight meth. Is it meth? Is he falling asleep? Is it dope? Who knows? Quick crap? Zigzags? Bing bams? Flip flops? All different types of stuff out there in the streets. If you look him right in the eyes. Are you going to get elbow? Pick that up and watch that. Toothbrush, headbutt. I just watch and I try to learn to pick up how to defend myself when it comes to the streets. What you just seen, a couple of things you just seen, could have killed probably 30 guys. 30 plus, 31 and a half, never know. Could be a gangster midget in there. Talk to him as if he's a, a kid lost or a lost soul okay. that you want to try to make better. But it's okay, it's gonna be okay. We can learn from this, okay? We're gonna... What? <laughs> what? Go ahead. Keep going. This is beautiful. He's good for the community, good for the kids, he's a positive influence, and I am just so grateful to be a part of this interview. I had to promise him a couple meals and everything, just to make sure, you know, soybeans, rice products, all that kind of stuff, no car not too much carbs. This is what we do, this is how we train. Fighter, boom, boom, boom. You know Tommy personally, you know that he grew up with a father selling Tommy Hilfiger shirts out of the back of his car, trying to make ends meet. Mother used to pack toothpaste and toothpaste, uh, little, little uh, toothpaste rolls, whatever. Wow, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Taking the gun out of your hands, putting it into my hands, mm. without you even realizing it. And just like that, and that's how it goes, bro. <laughs> oh my God. 